Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're going to be eating ribs. Yes, all you can eat ribs. All you can eat ribs. Can you believe it? Because I definitely can't. Well, let's see if it's really all you can eat, I guess you could say. Let's just say we've been kicked out of all you can eats, cut off a few times before, which hopefully won't happen today. But here we're going to a restaurant called Montana's. There are many locations across Canada. Uh, basically, it's a big chain. They offer all you can eat on Wednesdays for $30, or the prices maybe range a little bit, but at this location, $30, we're going to go into the location in Guelph, Ontario. Um, that's pretty much it. We'll get the exact details. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they start you with like a full rack and then a side or something like that, and uh, then they just go from there. I don't know if you need to refill, like to have additional sides or just ribs, but we'll, we'll get some details, we'll find out, let's go eat some food, and ultimately, all you can eat ribs. Hopefully it's actually all you can eat, but we're gonna put it to the test for sure. So let's go eat some ribs. All right, everyone, so we got some food out. We got kind of the first rounds so of how this works. You get what they call like a full rack or a large, um, with your two sides being, I chose a house salad for some health, or the coleslaw as well. They also give me a piece of cornbread. And then, as you go through it, they give you out like a quarter rack, like a refill. Luckily, they decided to give me two. So I have, a, I guess, another half here. So basically, we're just gonna get eating. Let's have some fun. Let's see how many of these we can eat. And uh, I love barbecue. I love ribs. I want the sauce on the side. So then I have a variety of sauces right here. So, let's eat. So I'm definitely gonna start with a my salad, I think we need some health here, so gotta start somewhere. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Montana's in Guelph, Ontario. So Montana's, if you're not familiar, is a kind of barbecue chain restaurant across Canada, um, specializing in ribs, most notably. And then they have like, you know, kind of your other standard items. I mean, they have burgers, they have some, you know, pulled pork and, you know, kind of, I don't know, nachos and just a variety of just general kind of, you could kind of call it like an American restaurant, basically, just kind of the general kind of type of cuisine. So on Wednesdays, they offer an all you can eat ribs. So the uh, price does vary location uh, by location. This location was $30. The highest I've seen it is $40. So I think that's kind of like the standardized range. Um, so yeah, so between $30 and $40 on Wednesdays at All Montana's, as far as I know, across Canada, you can get all you can eat ribs. And the time is 552. So I think it's been a long time coming. I've always wanted to come on in and do the all-you-can-eat ribs. Um, I literally remember being at a restaurant like this when I was probably like five or six years old and seeing like all-you-can-eat ribs and being like, oh, that sounds really good. Well, let's just say, you know, however many years later, here I am actually putting the all-you-can-eat ribs to the test and seeing if it's really all-you-can-eat or if they're gonna cut us off and kick us out. Not bad. All right, let's try some of these ribs. They look really nice. Apparently they are smoked. So the ribs generally uh, have like four choices of sauces, you know, or you can kind of do them plain like I was, although even they're like plain still kind of actually has a little bit of sauce on them. They kind of cook like a little bit with sauce, if that makes sense. But then like if you, um, like I think they cook them with sauce regardless, but then if you act, ask for like the sauce, then they dredge them in the sauce after they're cooked. Um, I was going sauce list for now and then have my sauces on the side. I figured that'd be a good way to start as I was planning to eat a lot of ribs and I felt like uh, too much sauce could be a bad thing. In regards to the actual um, barbecue sauce flavors. Not a bad flavor, very light. I don't get too much of a smoke, but maybe a little bit. And they're like, they're pretty small. Like, as far as the meat and the bones go, like, not a, not a huge amount on them, really, let's be honest. There was the uh, Texas Bold, which is just like a sweet sauce. They had a Chipotle honey, and they had a apple butter and a honey garlic. But well, pretty good. I do love barbecue. I do love meat. I do like to eat animals. Shout out JoelEats.com. Get your merch there. And then there were options for like the sides you could choose. Again, I went with salad and coleslaw, but you could went with like beans um, instead of the coleslaw. And then you had options of like French fries, onion rings, um, you know, pretty much like all these standard side dishes. Maybe I'll try some sauce. That is 
It's very good. This is what they call a Texas bowl. So all the ribs are barbecued. Um, and again, kind of that their cliche thing is that they're like, they have a sign that always says the smoker's rolling, but I don't really know if the ribs were actually smoked. Um, they're definitely barbecued. And what I mean by that is uh, like cooked over a, um, you know, a grill of some sort. I'm not sure if it was, uh, it definitely tasted like some charcoal in some of them. So definitely whether it be a charcoal grill or wood fire grill, we'll say it's a charcoal grill. Um, they definitely do cook the ribs um, over a grill of some sort. You definitely get that grill kind of barbecue flavor, you know, kind of the one that only fire, fire and meat. And you know, fire and meat is a great combo. Okay, so we actually finished the first rack, like the full normal rack. Then we're on to some of these refills. But for my palate, when it comes to a smoky flavor, it's a little lacking for me, but like I said, definitely barbecue. And honestly, the to overall flavor and taste of them was really good. They are moist, they are juicy, I definitely get that. This rack is more of like a charcoal flavor on that shit. Hot too. The kind of like standard like full rack, they kind of advertise it being, I think it's like between 10 and 12 or 9 and 12 bones. And then they consider like the quarter like this um, being three bones basically. So it's kind of more like potentially a third. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how they do that. Then if you want a half rack, it's advertised around like six bones, etc. Um, but yeah, really nice of them to be able to give me the two quarters at a time. So generally, like when you did the refill, it would just be one quarter. Um, again, I did ask the server upon entry. I said, hey, like I'm here to do a YouTube video. I'm going to try to eat as many ribs as I can. Um, if we could get them as quick as possible, that would be awesome. And I uh, really appreciate her being able to uh, send in the uh, two kind of refills at a time it definitely helped expedite things and you know I kind of came I think at a really good time where it wasn't too busy so the food is actually coming quite promptly I was very impressed um, and definitely made for a better experience I do really appreciate them bringing two at a time but I think we're gonna be here for a while these were also pork ribs they are a, a baby back pork rib um, so if you're familiar generally you have two cuts of ribs either a st louis style which is a side rib or the baby backs is here and each rack looks very different like look at the size difference between those those are hot Baby back ribs are generally a bit smaller than the St. Louis style. Also, they're kind of known, arguably, by some people to be kind of more of a tender cut. Um, sometimes a little bit of a leaner cut as well. Uh, that being said, again, it always, of course, depends on a lot of different things. But these ribs, in my opinion, were definitely quite lean. Um, they were being cooked nicely, quite properly. Um, you know, and, and the interesting, of course, like each rack of ribs is slightly different than one another. Shout out my server. She rocks. So I think that officially puts us at four refills, and then this would be eight. Or sorry, yeah, eight, because we got four here. I see there's a there's a good there's a thumbnail for you. Focus on the food. But yes, so four refills in, this would be eight. Good so far. Very fresh. barbecue them with a little bit of the sauce on it but they're not adding any more for me and you know that's just like goes for cooking any kind of meat you know it, it, no two are ever going to be the exact same you know some are going to be um, maybe cooked a little longer cooked a little less the meats will taste slightly different you know kind of well like whatever it may be so of course you have a bit of variation but they are good like I said just like mild flavor they are good, the sauce is really good. 
and I do have all the other flavors as well once I kind of get tired of it. The one other thing with the baby bag versus the St. Louis style, and the St. Louis style, um, you know, again, is generally the big side rib, is some people argue the St. Louis or the side rib has more of a meatier flavor, um, you know, kind of having a stronger flavor. And I think I would agree in, in general, um, whereas these, again, were kind of just like a very light tasting rib. Again, the rib without the sauce itself, the main flavor coming from that grill, that charcoal or that just grilled flavor. Um, whereas, again, if you put the sauce on it, that definitely uh, overpowers and becomes the mainstay. <laughs> This will be eight, seven in. Comment down below right now how many of these you think will actually get through. It's a good question. Comment down below. For the sauces, I was liking or using and liking the uh, Texas Bold. Again, just kind of what I would call like a standard sweet sauce, more comparable to something like a Sweet Baby Ray's. It's not Sweet Baby Ray's, but just kind of as a comparison point. Um, whereas Honey Garlic was like a Honey Garlic sauce. You see that in lots of different cuisines, like Asian cuisine. <laughs> On to the next. All right, and I actually got four more, four more refills, so that will bring us up to 12. Again, trying to let them cool off. They are very, very hot. The chipotle honey was definitely a, a more of a acidic or vinegar, not vinegar, that's not right, but more of an acidic or vinegary tasting sauce, but definitely different than vinegar sauce. This is the bucket they gave me for bones. I think we're gonna need another one. And then the apple butter was again like very very sweet similar to like, like the texas bold but obviously it had an apple flavor to it um whereas yeah like i think that was kind of pretty straightforward again i definitely think the way of uh, i was doing this by eating them without the sauce and only using the sauce like as an addition as an additive was definitely way to go if you want to kind of eat the most because like i said just all the sauces they really 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 dredge the burbs and sauce so that would be 10 and 12. Here's the bone bucket. I think it's it's pretty comical. Maybe I'll leave it right there. Which you know that much sauce is delicious for flavor, but if you're trying to like eat a lot, I mean you'll get like really sick of all that sweet sauce, the sugariness of them. So yeah, I think definitely uh, at least at this point, I was very happy that I was starting with the sauceless ribs, and then again I could always add the sauces in later, and you know if I wanted to kind of change up and add uh, different flavors to the rib. I think they're all supposed to be like a baby back. They are pretty lean to be honest. Again, obviously a little smaller, but pretty lean. Um, it's interesting, like again, some taste a lot more like a charcoal, like a grill, some less. And all just kind of different, but good to so far. We're definitely gonna get our protein day, I'll put it that way. So they gave me this like uh, rib bone bucket, which I thought was pretty funny because it was filling up pretty dang quickly. Um, and you'll also start to notice that uh, some of these uh, rib pieces start to get look like look and get a little bigger, um, which I'll kind of touch on in a minute. So definitely, uh, you know, hang around if you want to kind of find out about that. Um, but yeah, kind of that was pretty much it. I mean, you know, ribs are ribs are going down pretty good. 11, 12. most amount of you know refills ever ordered was that'd be very interesting to find out I kind of looked around and while like I don't think there's like an official like who's eaten the most refills at Montana's um, I think the highest number I saw was about 18 and we have been eating now for 30 minutes 30 minutes So like I said to this point, the staff had been really awesome, the service had been really great. Um, ultimately though, let's kind of see what happens. Let's be honest, a lot of restaurants get to a point where they don't become so friendly when you start eating all of their food. So you know, will we get cut off? Will we get kicked out? Well you have to kind of wait in and see. Let's just say there's a certain point where we started getting a manager coming by and talking to me, saying a few, a few words a little bit. Well, so I do have two more here. It 
it's definitely slowing down a bit, the pace they're giving them to me, but we make it work, right? We also had some interesting words and speculation from the kitchen, so I will uh, we'll touch on that later. I'll let you get to the rest of the video, and uh, ultimately, let's tune on in and see if we can, well, let's see how many ribs we can eat, and if at any point they kind of stop us before, well, before we were ready to get stopped. So let's tune on in, let's see what happens, and uh, let's get, enjoy the rest of the video. It's like Jenga. I think it's fair to start filling that one. That's nice, we're picking up speed again. I think there's going to be 14. And then I have four right here. So, 18? I need to start keeping track. I'll tell you one thing. It's pretty hot. Meat sweats are real. So yes, 18 I believe. That piece with that rack is a little tougher. This is a Texas one, where there's uh, apple butter, and then one's like uh, spicy. Definitely heating up. The meat sweats are real. Woo. Alright, so we got more here. And what did the girl tell me? So shout out the kitchen. So normally the quarter comes with three bones. They started a little while ago giving me like the five or six bones, so half racks. So this one has six, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is actually a full rack. That's what they consider a full rack, nine pieces. So a lot of the quarters have actually been like 
halves or thirds, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, Montana Zimbleth. Which I think this would be 20 refills, if I'm not mistaken. 20, I believe. We've been eating for one hour at this point. Two are just corners, three and three. This is 22. W24, so that puts us somewhere between seven full rounds and
13 floor X? Because if some of these were halves, and some were quarters, and some were halves, somewhere in between, I'm gonna guess probably 9 or 10? Crazy. All right, and I got four more here. I believe that brings us to 28. These ones I did get the sauce on. This is the Chipotle honey. These ones are still plain. So as you can see, we're definitely really filling up from here. Um, I started ordering some ribs with the sauce uh, just to kind of shake it up um, and firm it up. Um, you know, just just because I did kind of need that little bit of a flavor change. Just the ribs by themselves were, you know, feeling a little, it, it wasn't the same. So the sauce was a really nice addition. I did go with the chipotle honey. It wasn't spicy to me, but like I said, it, it, as I mentioned earlier, it had kind of a more of a vinegar tangy um, rather than a sweet uh, aspect to the sauce. So it was a really nice way to kind of change the flavor up as the ribs are really rich. Like ribs are rich, you know, they're kind of a fattier cut of meat. Um, so to have something which was a little bit more tangy, kind of cut some of that richness, some of that fat was a great, great, great addition. Um, as you can saw, the staff honestly were awesome. They really were. I had managers come on by and be like, oh, he's still going strong, which is about at this point. Um, you know, they, there's uh, the liquor lady was saying that people in the kitchen were like saying there was no way I was eating all of these and they were like he must be filling a backpack or something which I mean obviously I wasn't I mean it was really funny I was there just as you can see with you know I had my little camera bag and just my attire on didn't even have a jacket so I was like well there's obviously you know they didn't actually think I was not eating them but it was kind of funny to think like I mean, yeah, just, yeah. It was, it was just funny to hear their speculations, as the average individual would need that much. So 26 is be 28. I have 12 minutes of record time left, so I'm a little worried about that. I was definitely also like getting really, really full. Uh, like as you can see, I mean, my breathing's changed. It, uh, my 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 torso is more filled out. This was a lot, a lot, a lot of food. Again, you have to consider that each one of these refills was either, well, arguably like a third, a third to a half, but yeah, a quarter to a half of a rack of ribs. Um, not to mention we started with what they consider a full rack at the start. So yeah, definitely, like I said, a lot, a lot of food, but overall a very, very pleasant and enjoyable experience. Um, and definitely, we, yes, we got our money's worth. Um, I will say that um, I did get a receipt at the end, which I thought was pretty comical as well, because it listed like uh, every time I had a refill, because you know, she the server obviously had to ring them in. So it would be, you know, like, you know, refill, 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 refill. So I'll definitely also kind of show you guys that. As uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny to see if you ask me. Um, and kind of a funny, I don't know, I'll call it a trophy, I guess. 28. That's a lot of food. I'm starting to die. All right, I got the last refills here. I thought it was 30. The service said it might be 32. We're gonna double check. I got eight minutes of record time, so let's get eating. If I, if I can. And the server did come back, and according to that receipt as well, um, these were actually 32. Uh, so while I thought at the time it was 30, so it would be the full rack plus the 30 refills, um, these actually brought us to 32. Um, so yeah, at least according to the server and to the receipt, I count it different, but there was uh, once or twice there where I wasn't sure uh, if I actually count it a refill or not. Like I said, overall, while there were a couple slower points, the staff and the kitchen were amazing. They were really good at bringing the food out in a prompt fashion. Often, like I said, the ribs were really hot, so I had to let them kind of cool off a little bit, but uh, no complaints at all. I want to give you know the staff and everybody here a huge shout out, a huge thank you for the pleasant experience. Um, I would definitely recommend coming to this location you know, just for the customer service I received, the really quality customer service. And this is a five bone piece.
less than three minutes of recording left. shuts off. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I'll do an outro afterwards once I get my memory card, my new memory card. But we are between 30 and 32 refills. A lot of racks. I would say somewhere between 11 and 15. So pretty crazy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you'd like to hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Get subscribed. Your subscriptions make me do crazy things. So again, thanks so much, everybody. Really appreciate you. You sent all the staff here. They've been really awesome, really uh, welcoming. And uh, that's about it. Um, the price is thirty bucks. So I think we got our fill. So everybody, till next time, say happy. You're happy eating. Have a lovely day. And before we leave, the time seven forty-six. So we've eaten for like two hours. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day